Hey guys, what's up? It's Snake here, and I got some more hardcore capture the flag for you on Vila. Um, yep, I'm the Shropaz over here on the pool side of things, and I'm running my normal class uh, with Ghost and Slide of Hand, Marathon, the Commando. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Or uh, actually, you know what? Not not. What do you think about? Not what do you think about my class? Why don't you tell me what classes you like? What kind of classes do you run when you play Capture the Flag? What are your favorite classes? What kind of gun and perk combinations can you come up with? Um, or, you know, do you not play Capture the Flag? Do you play different game modes? Are there other game modes that you want to see from me? You know, because I know I got the wager matches over there, and I, uh, you know, I put up that headquarters, and I, um, I don't know. I, you know what? I actually, I actually have a, I, I played a pretty decent Search and Destroy match last night, so I, I think I'm going to go back into theater mode after I get off of here and record that for you but um but yeah I don't know what do you think what like what other stuff do you want to see me do you know give me some gameplay game modes that you you want to see me do uh, specific maps even or uh, classes that you like to use with those game modes you know if you're if you're the kind of person that likes sabotage and you're running flak jacket and I don't know excuse me and uh, tactical mask and whatever else uh, Warlord, I guess, would probably be a really good one, you know, because you have the multiple, uh, multiple grenades and stuff, but I don't know, you know, t tell me what you think, Get, let me know what kind of game modes you want to start seeing, and uh, let me know what kind of classes you'd like me to run, and then I could play, play around with them, maybe make a change here or there, and then I'll make some videos and talk about what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, what I think works really well, what I think could work really well had it not been me playing, uh, you know, because I'm just not that great at certain, um, at certain weapons like shotguns complete crap so if you if you want to see me die a lot uh, everybody should suggest shotguns but um but yeah or sniper rifles I'm not that good actually I'm, I don't know I'm better at, at sniping than I am at uh, I'm better at sniping than I am at shotguns it just it really depends on the level and actually I really would like to be better at, at, sh at sniper rifles for when Modern Warfare 3 comes out because as everybody knows sniping is going to become a lot easier or should I say quick scoping is going to go back to becoming a lot easier uh, like it was in Modern Warfare 2 so but we'll just have to wait and see for that I don't know what else what else guys oh, I went to 7-eleven today that was fun I had some uh, buffalo chicken taquitos not that you really care oh you know what I was doing actually speaking of Speaking of things you don't care about, I had this really weird thought today. I don't know. I think of weird things all the time. But um, but I was walking behind this woman, and she was being really, really slow. And um, and I just naturally have a longer gait. My legs are, I you know, a lot of my height is in my legs. I'll actually be taller than a person standing up than I am sitting down uh, sometimes. But um, but I was walking behind her, and I, I don't know. Maybe she didn't hear me. Maybe maybe she was a deaf person. But, you know, usually you hear somebody when they walk up behind you and you sort of step a little to the left as you're walking so that they can pass you. Um, or at least look behind you to make sure it's not a weirdo. Um, but no, none of that. She waited until after I went and walked all the way around her, like on the grass, to give me that ugly look, like, how dare you walk past me, you rude person? Why would you Why would you walk around me? I was, you know, person pur purposely... Set, standing in the middle of the sidewalk just to stop you from getting past. That's the kind of look she gave me. But um, but anyway, enough about her. Who cares about her? The the thing that I was thinking about that was really weird was um, you know, because I've been playing. Uh, I got I got UK viewers now on my YouTube channel, which I think is really really cool. I love uh, I love England. I've never been there, but um, but I like BBC. I like I like uh, Red Dwarf and Doctor Who and all those different crazy uh, English shows. So, but, um, but yeah, so, um, so I got like a lot of UK viewers now and stuff like that. And so it, it started me thinking, um, in other countries, do they walk on the opposite side of the sidewalk? Cause they drive on the opposite side of the road. So like with us, we drive on the right side. And so when we're walking on the sidewalk, we walk to the right. Do they drive on the left and walk to the left or do they also walk to the right? And if so, why? Like, why would you walk to the right and drive to the left? I don't know. Maybe that's just silly. I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. But um. But yeah. So UK viewers. Actually, you know, I was just I was just playing with a couple of my UK viewers the other uh, just yesterday. I think was it? What was what's today? Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Just yesterday because I had my I, I had my sub session. My first sub session. Why did I throw that? Oh, because I thought I had concussion bombs. 
but still, why would I throw a concussion bomb? That was just a bad throw. Whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I had my first sub-session. And it, uh, I don't know. It didn't go as well as I would like it to, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It was my first sub-session. And I had it at 2. I guess I didn't really think about this before, but I had it at 2 New York time. So, like, everybody, everywhere else in, in, the, in the States was all earlier. So we're talking Saturday at 11 for people in California. So, you know, most people just aren't playing video games at 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. So that was kind of stupid on my part. And also, I guess the other thing, too, is not I don't have as many viewers or I don't have as many followers on, fa on what is it, Twitter or fans on Facebook as I do subscribers on YouTube. So, um... So I guess that was a big thing because I used I was using Twitter and Facebook in order to announce the sub session and and uh, invite people to it. But uh, but yeah, so I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should do an another subscriber session? Try try it out, or should I wait a little while until I have more subscribers or I have more people on Twitter and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Maybe fuck it. Right? I'll just go ahead and do it. I'll do it. Let's see. Wednesday Wednesday sounds good, and I don't want to have it too early. So people in California would be a good time, I guess. What if 5 o'clock, well, because it's summer, so yeah, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock on Wednesday, L.A. time. So it's 6 Mountain time, 7 New Orleans time, what up, New Orleans? And it'll be 8 o'clock here in New York, so 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which would make it 11 over in England uh, on Wednesday. How about that? We'll do another sub-session, but you need to follow me on Twitter. You need to uh, uh, like me on Facebook in order to find out about it. So if you guys want to play, it's going to be on Xbox, of course, because that's the only thing I have Black Ops for right now. But, um, but yeah, it should be fun. I think, you know, because obviously it's going to be my zombie stuff, because that's obviously what everybody started watching my channel for in the first place. But, um, but yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do challenges or something like that in order to make the, the game shorter. You know, like maybe only shotguns or... We can't leave the the first area, or we can only buy stuff off the wall, like that kind of thing. Um, I, you know, just we, you know, weird, weird, fun stuff in order to be able, so so we can go through and maybe make each game like thirty or forty five minutes long, because uh, otherwise I'd play all night and it'd only be three subscribers. I want to try and get like I don't know, twelve or fifteen people to play that night. Um, but yeah, so, you know, depending on how it goes, maybe maybe then I'll try and make it a weekly thing. If it doesn't go so well, then obviously I'll wait a while and wait for more people to come in and follow me on Twitter and stuff. But if you're not, which of course, obviously, shameless shameless plug here, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are going to be down below in the uh, in the description. And of course, if you're watching me on my page, they're on my page in the info section. But yeah, enough about me and that, all that stupid stuff. Uh, let's see, what else should we talk about? Games, games, games. What new games are coming out that you guys want to see? What games are you excited about coming out uh, towards the end of this year? Obviously, Modern Warfare 3, everybody's excited about. So we'll just, let's pretend Modern Warfare 3 doesn't count, because obviously we're watching Call of Duty, so you're going to like Call of Duty. What other games, what other franchises and stuff coming out at the end of this year or early next year that y'all are psyched about? Me, obviously, Shadow of the Colossus being my absolute favorite game. I am, I almost got them too. Um, being my absolute favorite game, I'm really psyched about The Last Guardian. And I'm even more excited about the fact that they're all releasing in high definition Ico and Shadow of the Colossus for PS3. Uh, and believe me, you are definitely going to be seeing some videos from those guys. Supposedly, they're supposed to be in 3D. But when I look it up on the GameStop website, it doesn't say 3D. So I don't know if they pulled that feature or what. Um, Halo is getting an HD redu uh, Redux for the, uh, for the 360, along with multiplayer on Xbox Live, which I'm super psyched about because I don't know if you, if you remember, but I've said before, I've never played Halo. Uh, and yeah, I know that was attack insert, but I'm going to kill the guy who had it first and then go back and get him. Um, I don't know what else. What other games are going to be fun? Actually, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Resistance 3. I had played the first one when it first came out, and it was my first FPS, so the fact that it was a little easy, a little cheesy, uh, was good. It worked out for me because it was like my introduction to first-person shooters. Um, so hopefully the, the third one is a lot better. It's a lot more, I don't know, uh, a lot beefier, I guess. A lot like, like the handling. That's I think the main thing is the handling needs to be better on Resistance 3 compared to the first one. And I skipped the second one, so I can't tell you as far as like their progression. But 
It looks like it could be a pretty neat game. Hopefully the multiplayer works really well. Actually, the one thing I'm more excited about for Resistance 3 is not the game itself, but the TV they're coming out with. Because they're coming out with a 3D television. It's like 32 or 36 inches, but it's made specifically for multiplayer games. So one person sits slightly to the left, one slightly to the right with the 3D glasses on, and they can see their own screen. Now I'm going to repeat that. First player will sit slightly to the left with his 3D glasses on looking at the screen at an angle. Player two will sit slightly to the right with his 3D glasses, or her, I know, I know, there's whatever, you know, transgender, multigender, whatever. There's lots of different people that play video games now, so power to the gamers. Um, so yes, his slash her chair is slightly to the right with uh, 3D glasses on, and they're both watching the same screen but they're both seeing completely different images. There is no split screen anymore. No slight, no, no above, no below, no left, no right. Literally seeing their own separate image on the same exact screen. That's insane. I don't know how it works, but it's awesome. That's sick. I mean, think about it like this. No more picture in picture. You know, you you just look to the left and you're watching the you know you're watching the Saints win the Super Bowl again, slightly to the right and you know you're watching I don't know whatever, whatever else you want to watch or you're playing a video game to the right or all all the different possibilities that you can have with this now being able to see two different images on one screen is just insane. I don't know. Maybe maybe they won't do it with TV, but as far as video games are concerned, that's that's an awesome idea. And there's got to be other things they can do with it, too, besides just multiplayer. So that's just really... I, I just get really psyched about stuff like this, about tech stuff where, like, they come up with new and crazy ideas, new things that you... that were just science fiction five years ago, even. You know, just crazy, crazy stuff. Like the fact that we can talk to people with our TV as a telephone and actually see them, and just all sorts of crazy stuff out there. So this is just another neat, awesome thing, you know? But, uh, but yeah, anyway, Apple's actually coming out with a new TV, too. But uh, I don't know too much about that. That's going to be pretty neat as well. But back to my game list. I've got, I got one more game for you that I'm really psyched about uh, coming up in the future. And I don't know, if you, if you like my game ideas, maybe, maybe I'll do a video where I just talk about all the games coming out within the next year and a half that I'm psyched about. Um, but this is the last one that I kind of want to add to this thing before we wrap up the match. And uh, that is XCOM. XCOM looks sick. XCOM looks absolutely sick. And it doesn't come out until March next year, so I'm a little bummed about that. And if you don't know about XCOM, you need to check it out. Search XCOM, X-COM, whatever, you know. It's it's going to be a ridiculous game. It's an RTS slash FPS. And what I mean by that is you can switch between an RTS view where you control multiple people to an FPS view where you run around fighting these aliens that have come down to earth and it's both tactical and strategical gameplay so you can run in and control your team and wipe out the aliens just blasting through them or you can strategically move through killing just certain ones and capturing others in order to steal their technology and employ it for yourself this sounds like it's going to be a massive spectacular amazing game guys and you definitely need to check it out but, um, but yeah, that looks like it's it for me. Top of the list, MVP. Uh, so, yeah, peace out, guys. I'll talk to you later.